In this video, I'll share with you five business credit cards that offer 0% interest on them anywhere from six to 18 months. Let's go. So when you start a business, what is the hardest thing to get that business launched? Well, for most people, it comes down to getting that money to get that business off the ground. Look, I remember when I came to the United States with $80 in a suitcase, I had no money. I was living paycheck to paycheck and I had big, big goals. I had big ambitions. And when I started out, I did not know about these strategies that I'm about to share with you or one of the strategies I'm about to share with you because this strategy is so, so powerful. So most people, they rely on their savings. Maybe they borrow money from friends and family. Some people who decide to go out and raise money. Look, I suggest that you try to start your business with your own money. And if you don't have money, you definitely want to use business credit cards that offer 0% interest. This strategy can be so, so powerful if you use it responsibly. And before we go any further, this is not financial advice. I'm just sharing what worked for me, what has worked for many other people. And this is for educational purposes. So you have to make a decision on your own, uh, consult with your accountant or CPA and make a decision for yourself. But I'm sharing with you what has worked for me and uh, what has worked for so many others. So let's continue. First, what do you need to apply for business credit cards and why you would consider applying for business credit cards? Well, number one, you need separation between you and your business. So if you don't have a business yet, you will not be able to apply for business credit cards. Well, there are some uh, ways to do it. You can do it as a sole proprietor and have your company name to be your name. But I don't suggest that for best protection, I suggest that you start an LLC. Start an LLC and that way you'll be able to apply for business funding. Once you start an LLC, you'll be able to go out and get funding for your business. And it could be anywhere from, you know, 10,000 to 200,000. It really depends on your personal credit score. Yes, I'm sorry to tell you this. If you have a bad credit score, it'll be very, very hard for you to apply for 0% credit cards because typically they require higher credit score because they want to know if you will be able to pay them back. And that's understandable. So if you have bad credit score, don't worry about it. There's a chance you might still apply uh, and, and get approved for certain credit cards. Try. It doesn't hurt to try. But at the same time, even if you do get approved, expect small, smaller limits. So the better your credit score, the, the, the lower uh, debt ratios you have, meaning if you have lots of debt right now, they will look in that and they will consider that. So that's very, very important. Also, they look at how long your business has been in the business. There are a lot of different elements they will consider, but you definitely don't want to get discouraged and you definitely want to use this strategy. So once you have a business and you start applying for credit cards, you might ask, okay, what are some of the other benefits to apply for financing under your business? So first of all, separation, right? Protection. You want to separate your personal finances from your business finances. Number two, it's free financing. Number two is interest free financing. And this is so, so important because you could go out and put things on your personal credit cards. And often people do that. You don't want to do that. You don't want to go out and start putting business expenses, running ads and doing different things on your personal credit cards. Here's why. Because when you put on your business credit cards, it does not affect your credit score. So for example, if you have $30,000 in your personal credit cards and your rack up balances to 20,000, there's two problems. Number one, you'll pay pretty hefty interest probably on that, those credit cards and those balances. Number two, it will show up on your credit and it will damage your credit because it'll say, hey, look, he has $30,000, he's utilizing 20,000. That's, you know, 60% utilization, 65% utilization. That's very, very bad. So you do not want to use your personal credit card. So when you use business credit cards, when you apply, they will often do an inquiry on your credit, make sure that you're credit worthy, that you can pay back and you, they can trust you. Uh, that's about it. So, but once you open a credit card, they will not report to your credit bureaus because it's a business credit card. I have to warn you that one, there was one time in all the years I missed one payment. And the only reason I missed I got a credit card, it was a 0% credit card, 
and I forgot to set up auto pay. You definitely want to set up auto pay immediately and you want to set auto pay minimum because why minimum? Well, because you want to leverage that 0% uh, interest free financing till that expiration comes. So if it's 16 months, set a reminder on your calendar when it expires. So I know I, I've been saying a lot of things here and explain a lot of things. You're like, okay, where are the credit cards? If you came to hear the credit card, sorry, I had to uh, respect everybody and meet you where you are. Some of you are more advanced and some of you are just starting out. So I apologize if this was boring and you already know this information, but it's so, so important to cover all of that. Also, I want to let you know, as I'm about to introduce you these credit cards, I have created a master course, 0% master course that you can get just for $1 on our, my uh, on my platform, Thrive Course. And you can get that course just for $1 by clicking the link in the description and you can get started just for a dollar. So it's a very, very meticulous step-by-step -step process about everything, how to set up your business, how to find best banks, how to apply, how to just everything, everything I know, I have put in that course. So this YouTube will help you get started. You can go ahead and apply. But if you want to really be strategic about how to use this i highly highly suggest that you check out that course and that's in the description so let's dive in so now that you know the benefits now that you know how to get these credit cards let's dive in and cover exactly which credit cards i would recommend right now so the first one is us bank business platinum card this card is absolutely awesome and this bank is incredible actually us bank was the first bank that i applied when i came to the united states and they've been incredible they have great products great service sometimes they are more strict when you apply for certain things they want to check they want to make sure that you legitimate business they want to make sure that you're going to pay back and that can be sometimes frustrating because they ask for so many things but overall they are a phenomenal bank and they are at number one spot for me because they offer zero percent interest for 18 months and often they offer pretty pretty high high limits so that's my first recommendation before we go to the second one because just in case if you stop watching this video i don't want you to run around and apply randomly for these credit cards be strategic that's what i cover in this course strategy is everything you don't want to get money and not knowing what you're going to use for so don't get too excited be strategic number two pnc cash reward business credit card this one is fantastic credit card as well i have account with them as well for another business that i have i have multiple businesses and this one is a good credit card smaller limits probably than us bank and they only offer nine months instead of 18. So you see, you had to compare those things. I would not pick this bank. So the US bank was my first choice. These rest of the four credit cards, they are in mixed order. So listen to the end, do your own research and then decide. But the second bank is PNC Cash Reward Business Credit Card. Number three is American Express Blue Business Cash Card. It is a fantastic, fantastic card. This card is fantastic. Also pretty generous limits. If you're already banking with American Express, the application process should be pretty fast unless you have a lot of credit cards already, unless you carry balance on the other credit cards. This process should be pretty, pretty easy and you'll get 0% credit limit for 12 months. Next one is Inc. Business Unlimited Credit Card. Chase overall is a phenomenal bank. I do a lot of banking with Chase. The technology is incredible. And this bank also gives pretty generous limits and they will offer 0% interest for 12 months. So that's another credit card that I'd like to recommend you. Next one is Wells Fargo Business Platinum, best for earning either cashback or points rewards with nine months, 0% interest. Wells Fargo is a good bank, but often they can be a little bit slow with the proving process and they might ask for extra things than compared to other banks. But overall, I had a great experience with them and that's another bank that I would recommend. So these are five credit cards that I would highly recommend if you're looking to fund your business idea with 0% credit cards and do your own research. Also, when you research, you might notice that the same banks that I just recommended you, they can have multiple credit cards. They offer 0% interest and you have to compare and look around and then decide which credit card is the best solution for you and your business. So that's it, my friend. Uh, this strategy is so, so powerful. I recently bought an Airbnb with my wife and we wanted to refurnish the Airbnb. We have the money, but what, what do we do? We actually, I'm gonna throw in a little extra bonus that actually is um, Bank of the West 
business credit card. They also offered 0% interest, I believe for nine months. The only problem with them because that LLC was pretty new. They gave us pretty small balance in that one. But uh, then we applied for another 0% uh, credit card and we get 20,000 that we used actually to furnish that the entire Airbnb. So that's 0% interest for nine months. Why wouldn't you take advantage of that? Plus, you're going to earn points, plus uh, protection, plus so many other benefits. So if you enjoyed this video, two things. Number one, give me a thumbs up. Uh, number two, let me know in the comments, what would you use this 0% credit if you applied for one? So let me know in the comments. And last and final thing, if you're really serious about getting anywhere from 10,000 to 150,000 or more in 0% funding for your business, uh, I highly suggest that you check out the course in the description. You can get started for a dollar because the truth is what I'm teaching in that course, a lot of companies out there who are running a lot of ads across Facebook and YouTube, and they say they're going to help you get a 0% credit. What they do, they charge you anywhere from 5 to 15% on that money they get you. And then what they claim is that they have a special relationships with different bankers. In reality, you can do the same thing on your own. So just for a dollar, you can learn all the tricks of the trade. I want you to save money. I want you to be wise with your money. So go check out that course, link in description. If not, thank you so much for watching because my goal is to help people with their mindset, teach them how to make money, how to build wealth and how to leave legacy because I'm just a guy who came to the United States with $80 a suitcase with big dreams and hopes and aspirations. And I've been so grateful to achieve most of my goals and I'm still striving to do more and I want to help. One of my goals now is to help as many people as I can to build the life that they're happy to live. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.